March marks the beginning of a brush fire season and fire officials say 60% of wildfires happen during the spring. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Ravathi Janaswamy explains how to prevent brush fires before they become destructive. It's a very bad day to burn, so uh, today is a prime example for a day not to burn. Counties in NEPA are on high alert for brush fires. In central Pennsylvania, it's a red flag day. That's when a series of events all line up. Um, today, you could feel we have a very strong wind. We have low relative humidity. Leaves like these are dried by the sun, and they are highly susceptible to the spread of fire. Leaves and twigs paired with the weather conditions and a flame make a destructive combination. As those light fuels carry the fire to a standing dead tree, then it climbs up the dead tree, wind gets a hold of it and dumps it out further. Forestry officials also say wildfires are more common than you might think. As far as DCNR reports go, we had uh, over 1,500 fires last year and it took out a little more than 3,500 acres. There can be major consequences of these fires, not just to the environment and animals, but to humans too. I had someone, you know, going out and debris burning, uh, didn't want to call the fire company right away, figured he'd be able to handle it himself, and he ended up, you know, uh, passing away with his injuries that he had. Officials say the safest way to put a fire out is to prevent it. In Barnesville, Rafe T. Janaswamy, 2228 Eyewitness News. Now, if you absolutely must burn debris, officials say to wait for a less windy, rainier day. And if you do start a smaller fire, make sure that you clear a 10-foot circle around it and that there's plenty of water nearby just in case it grows.